Rob and Liam on my Series 6 family. How are you guys all doing this morning? I hope you guys had a good Easter Sunday, good weekend. Hope you guys are all rested up. I don't know if we're rested up yet, but we are about to go to Flagstaff. If you guys already know, today is Brandy's induction day. We got to be there at 7.30 and 7 o'clock. We're about halfway there. So, of course, I'm cutting it close again. We're going to Flagstaff Medical Center. We'll give you guys an update here in a bit. It's a big day for us. You guys, make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe if you're new to the family. Let's go and get it. Let's get baby Mikhail out of here. We made it. We made it. You ready, babe? Yes. Getting our bag out. Um, at this hospital, they only have a one bag roll. So we had to stuff everything that we could into here. Beautiful Flagstaff. Um, Honey and the twins, they were delivered in Winslow. And then Alea in Phoenix. So now baby Mikhail is gonna be here in Flagstaff. Alright, let's roll. finally settled in very 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 nice rooms I like it you like it babe yes are you comfortable yes we just got her IV and everything done Ugh. the more I see her get IVs and stuff the more weaker I get um I was in the hospital and had to get an IV exactly the same spot right there and then I felt it uh, I just got weak I was like ah oh, I can't do that no more <laughs> First time hearing baby's heartbeat live. And we also got her contractions are getting picked up already too. So we got the IVs. I think we're just gonna relax. I think we might just take a little nap right now. Here babe, put this on. I don't want your glasses to be all foggy when you're pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me yeah. your Kleenex? Yeah. <laughs> this is I've never heard of these and I was in Walmart and I was like oh my god this could be a lifesaver <laughs> <laughs> her glasses are already fogging up they are <laughs> I just got checked so we made a plan for me to um, start with the Foley balloon to get my cervix to dilate um, and after they're probably going to give me some Pitocin but we'll see how this balloon goes hopefully it could start my labor um, I am just one centimeter dilated and 50% effaced. Baby's head is low, very low, which is good. He's in position. So um, we're going to go ahead and get that started. It is now almost 9 o'clock. Going on a walk. I just couldn't imagine, guys. So we're just going on a walk. Trying to get this flavor going. They haven't gave you Pitocin yet, though. Huh? They did. They oh, gave they... me um, Pitocin and the Foley balloon. So oh, I have both trying she... to start. I already do feel the contractions, too, so it's working. She was a champ. She like stayed in that position for like five minutes for them to do that for them. Why doesn't my cup look like your cup? <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks like the ones they pee in. It is big. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna drink it. It's kind of cloudy. Ew. 
I told Wahali to pack the bag with snacks, but our bag wasn't big enough. I know. What well, we're not allowed to bring it though, right? Snacks? Yeah. Yeah, you could bring snacks. Oh. I would have. I, I told him, you guys, men don't listen. I would have ditched my clothes and would have put snacks in <laughs> besides my clothes. Dang it. I know. I'm thirsty though right now. Still hanging out. It's going good though. Um, I wasn't even contracting, huh? No, you weren't. Remember I was sitting on a ball and my mom's like, do you feel anything yet? I was like, no. Oh, it's at eight. <laughs> It's at eight? Yes, this is eight. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Man, they're not <laughs> playing around over here at FMC. That's to speed up the contractions. Okay, she's having one right now. She's just walking around in the room. Contracting. Contracting. It's starting to get more stronger. The contractions, yes. Hi. How are you? Huh? Good. What are you doing? Nothing. I was just watching TV with them. Oh, what's baby doing? Calling. Is she being good for you? Yeah. Okay. How about um, King of Mahana? They're doing good. Oh, okay. Um. Baby should be here soon. The medicine's working for mommy. So hopefully, maybe even tonight, he'll be here. <laughs> so next FaceTime I do, just know that he'll be here. Yes, they can't keep him on the monitor because they want to monitor his heart and my contractions, but they're having a tough time, so, but they're working with me. Um, I was able to stand, do the birthing ball, and then lay down, so it's all right. Yes, she's doing good. Baby's heartbeat's still doing good. Granny's going to keep doing what she's doing best right now, breathe. King told her this morning you gotta push hard, mom, so I'm pretty sure that's what she's gonna do. I have that down. Yes, she does, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Two pushes, baby will be here. So we'll give you guys an update here in a bit. All right, awesome update. The doctor just came in. Um, Brandy, that foley that she had in her, it fell out and all that. So that means the progress is working. The medicine that the doctors gave her is working on her body, which is great. Yes, thank you. So we're gonna go on a walk. They disconnected her from all the machines, her um, IV. So we're gonna go walk around for a bit, get her legs stretched out and let her body relax with all that medicine in. Everybody out there, Mikhail's gonna be here. I'm just reading um, one of you guys' comments. LG, 
says, oh man, it's here. I hope your contractions get going. I can't believe you're all laughing and still sound so sweet and nice. I'd be a total grouch right now. I hope it's an easy delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so right now I'm dilated about a, a five. They just broke my water about 10 minutes ago and they started me on Pitocin again. So hopefully this gets things going. Um, I don't think I've ever had my water broke this early. It's always more so when I'm like eight centimeters. Um, so I'm hoping and praying that my body just goes with it and I could just have him here quick and a smooth delivery. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to get nervous. I'm starting to feel the shakiness and all that stuff right now. You're doing good though, babe. Thank you. Yeah, you look very beautiful, by the way. Oh. Thanks, with this mask on. <laughs> All right, family. It is about 10 o'clock at night. I'm over here at the concession stand. Well, vending machines, I should say. This is what Brandy wanted a vitamin water. And this is going to be my late night snack. I don't know. I think I might go with a Kit Kat with some keto puffs. I'm not too sure though. I took a good little nap. Um, Brandy, she is doing good still. She um, had a little bit of process, but we still gotta wait a little bit longer. Um, she's at, they said a five to a six centimeter right now. Uh, Grandma Sarah just showed up, Brandy's mom. She's been here since 6.30, but in the parking lot though, and she finally came inside. I guess they're real strict over here, only um, two two visitors per patient. Yeah. So that's gonna be um, me and Sarah in there in the room while Brandy delivers. So she's in there talking with her mom. Um, I guess I've just been sleeping. Um, yeah, there's really not much we could do. All, all we could do is just wait now, so. Thank you guys all for the support and thank you guys all for the prayers. Baby Makai will be here soon, guys. Still no baby yet. Four hours into induction. Randy's doing really good. I was sleeping through all night. I couldn't stay up, it was hard. She was fighting through her labor pains though, her contractions. She's doing good though, we got progress though. As long as we got progress going throughout the day, we're okay. And she's progressing good. almost 12 30 still no baby Mikhail. we just had a really good i would say like three hours two hours of brandy being really in pain right now well earlier um she ended up getting the epidural well she kind of has to had to get the epidural because um of course induction's taking longer than everybody expected even the doctors and that uh, they just want her they're, they're kind of thinking that the epidural is going to help her bottom half relax to where ba her cervix and baby could come down a little bit more. So that's what she's doing and she can finally get some rest um, all night, all morning long. She was battling with her contractions and, and everything like that. So the doctors recommended that she got it and she did. That was one thing that Brandy didn't want to get was the epidural, but it's okay. We got to we got to do what the doctors recommended because like they said, if Mikhail doesn't come towards the evening time or something. Our next um, plan is going to be a C-section. Oh, man. What can I say? The last baby is the hardest, right? 
So we're just. Um, we got a way it was complicated. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're, we're this what I was telling her. This kind of reminds me of um Alea's, um, Alea's birth because um Brandy was having difficulties like this, and uh, um they went and they gave her epidural. She had a good nap, a good rest, and everything, and they came and checked her, and she was ready to push. So I'm kind of hoping that this is the same thing as us, but Brandy really needs some rest right now. She has not slept since we got here. So yes, yeah, she's barely, she's going on, I would say barely like two hours of rest, of rest, not sleep. Um, Sarah went back down to her ride to go take a nap. I'm most likely gonna take a nap as well too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 